One of the things that excites me about the 10 steps to zero waste, it begins with everybody. These, these 10 things here, these 10 fingers, if we mix things together we have waste, if you separate you have resources. And then as we get to the end of the 10 steps, we are involving our professors and students in the researching of bad industrial design at the residual screening and research facility. Uh, the idea is that this is a place where community responsibility at the back end comes face to face with industrial responsibility at the front end. And we have to say to industry, if we can't reuse it, recycle it or compost it, then you guys shouldn't be making it. We need the fourth R, which is redesign. So we have reduce, reuse, recycle, that's community responsibility. But industrial responsibility is the fourth hour redesign. So as we get to these last steps, eight ste step eight, which is the residual screening and research facility, and we get to better industrial design, which is step nine, we've gone from the ten things that everybody has to the brightest minds in our society, professors and students and industrial designers. And the reason that they are important is that Refuti Zero is the stepping stone, a concrete stepping stone to sustainability. And we need those bright minds linking zero waste with other aspects of sustainability. And we're talking about sustainable agriculture, sustainable agri uh, architecture, sustainable energy, sustainable communities, and so on. So this idea of using researchers, professors, designers in linking to other things fits into this idea that Livio has and others have of linking this up with the sustainable energy, the Jeremy Rifkin's ideas, um, the food, the slow food movement, uh, the, the zero kilometers, local production. And the way I frame it now is this, zero waste is taking back our planet one community at a time. Taking back our community, uh, taking back our planet one community at a time. We have to own our own water, we have to own our own food, we have to own our own resources in, in the waste stream. And I think this is very much in line with what Professor uh, Livio is talking about with this manifesto. It's, it's being comprehensive now about what it means to take back your own community, what it means to take your community towards a sustainable future.